Logic Pro for iPad 2 has added a brand new drummer with some amazing new features, but what if you've got a project from a previous Logic Pro version or a GarageBand project? What happens then? Well, that's what we're going to show in this video. Let's go. <laughs> Let's start with a Logic Pro project. This comes from Logic Pro version 1.1, the previous version. It has a drummer track, and when we tap on this drummer track and we go to the editor window, check it out. We get this message. This drummer region was created in a previous version of Logic Pro. Convert to MIDI to preserve the original state or update to the new session player performance. And we've really got a third option too because we can do nothing. We can just play the project and it will play exactly as it did in the previous version. However, if we want to change any part of this drummer performance, we need to do one of these two things. Let's show you both of those now. The first option, we can convert it to MIDI track. So if we tap on the convert button, check it out, it changes it immediately to a MIDI track. So now we can tap in here and we can actually edit the MIDI just like we do any other MIDI track here in Logic Pro. And if you'd like to learn more about editing and using MIDI, check out the other videos in the description. We can even separate the drummer performance out into multiple tracks to make Make mixing even better by tapping, coming down here to convert and tapping on separate by either note pitch or articulation. And yes, I cover that in another video right here on the channel in the description. However, what if we want to use the brand new drummer here in Logic Pro for iPad 2? Well, all we need to do is tap on this one here and it's going to update and now we can tweak this. So now when we change the complexity, the intensity, we dial in our patterns, we can change our kick and snare, we can do all of the options including the details and the manual options here. So you are going to lose that original performance of your drums, but now you can use the power of the new Logic Pro for iPad 2 Session Player drummer to tweak your drums to your heart's content. What about GarageBand? Well, here's a project for my song called There's No Such Thing As College here in GarageBand. It does have a drummer track that sounds like this. Our old buddy Anders. What happens to Anders though when we open this GarageBand drummer track over in Logic Pro for iPad 2? To find out, I've jumped over here to Logic Pro. We're going to tap on the project. We're going to continue here, which is going to open it up in Logic Pro for iPad 2. It's going to convert it. And there we go. There is our track. But what happens when we tap on Anders and we go to the editor window? Same deal. We can either convert Anders to MIDI tracks or if we want to, which is what I would do, we can update. So we'll tap on that one and now we can control all of these Anders parts. And yes, you'll notice there that when you have multiple sections, you have to make the decision a bunch of times. I haven't actually tried this, but what if happens if we select all of these and do it all at once? Can we update all of them? No, we're gonna to have to do it individually. So there you go. You will need to update or convert. Can we convert and update some? Yeah, so you've got complete control over each one based on regions. Learning as we go. That's what it's all about here on Studio Live today. And yes, the same thing applies whether you're using an acoustic drummer, an electronic drummer, or a percussionist, because they all have been updated here in the brand new version of Logic Pro for iPad 2. In fact, if you'd like to learn how to use this and a heap of other features here in Logic Pro for iPad 2, check out the other videos down in the description.